months pre CPC prep and SDS session, read value coding with scenarios. So basically, these sessions are useful for the people who are trying to write CPC certification as well as who are planning to enter into ambulatory surgery coding or same day surgery coding. So both will can bet, uh, get benefit from these sessions. So, so we will go ahead with first question today. So 63 year old female is having bilateral mammogram with computer A detection conducted as a screening because the patient has had a previous cyst in the right breast. What radiological services are reported? So go ahead and write your answers in the chat box. So today's session not that much complicated. You can write easily. So you no need to worry about today I have posted CPT book also. Now you can't tell me I don't have CPT book. I have already posted CPT book in Passport 21 WhatsApp group and Telegram groups. So you can download those CPC book, sorry, CPT book. Hi Deepthi, good evening. No worries, Rohit. Always our intention to help others. So I got only one answer from Deepthi. So Supriya, Azra, Mutukumar, Great, Rakshayani, Snigdha, you get the ready. Waiting for your answers. Yeah, yeah. So Deepthi is doing forensic coding. So she is good, uh, doing good job. You need to behave as a forensic scientist while checking your answers with code descriptions. Keep it up, Deepthi. So we will check now. Uh, basically, what happened here? Uh, we need to check the keywords here. First one is laterality. This is one keyword. One second. Yeah. This is one keyword and mammogram is also one keyword. Next, computer aid detection also one keyword. Why means our CPT radiology codes are depends on these keywords. Conducted as a screening. So screening also one keyword. So these all are the keywords. We need to first, as soon as we see the question, we need to identify the keywords. Then only we can write the answer. So we will check one by one. 
सेवन सेवन जीरो सिक्स फाइव फर्स्ट so as it has nearly 4000 pages well, like pages so it is taking with time but as i am using the using the pdf it will take some time but if you have physical book you can find it very easily 770 Yeah, first one is seven seven zero six five. What is this? Diagnostic mammography, including computer aided detection, when performed unilateral. So here our keyword is bilateral. So uh, first one is wrong. So seven seven zero six five is wrong. So obviously seven seven zero six five seven seven zero six six. We can't do or we can't code both codes. Why means seven seven zero six five is for unilateral. If patient is having We need to code seven seven zero six six bilateral, but as we are having the one keyword mentioned as screening, so in this code description we did not find the word screening. So because of that reason, seven seven zero six five A as well as seven seven zero six five and seven seven zero six six, these both are wrong as there is no mentioning of screening in these code descriptions. So six five and six six wrong. And A B is wrong. We will check seven seven zero six six. So again seven seven zero six six. Laterality is correct, but there is no screening in this one. So because of those reasons, our correct answer is seven seven zero six seven. Screening mammography bilateral, including computer aided detection when performed. So because of all these keywords, our answer is seven seven zero six seven. So Deepthi did the good job. By doing the forensic coding. Yeah, Vargao, you did good job. Yeah, just nothing secret here. Just we need to compare. Compare is enough. Question with the code description. That's enough. So next, we will go ahead with second question. So. A 47 year old male sees his primary care physician complaining of fever with chills cough and congestion the physician performs a chest x-ray taking lateral and ap views in his office the physician interprets the x-ray views and the patient is diagnosed with walking pneumonia which cpt code is reported for the chest x-rays performed in the office and interpreted by the physician So now it is ten five. We will start the checking. Uh, we will start the answer discussion at ten nine. So we have four minutes. so this question is very useful while doing the cpc exam these are most common questions in cpc exam yeah deepthi waiting for your answer Great, Deepthi. Guys, all of you write the answers. No need to worry about whether it is correct or not. 
so we can understand whether we are doing forensic coding or not so as these are useful in live coding also we need to make practice of forensic coding from now onwards just nothing secret just we need to compare our question with code description that's enough Yeah, yeah, no worries, Ajra. Anyway, you can write easily. These are very easy only. No problem, Ajra. You are attending and learning. That's enough. I know about you. You are attending for the past two previous like two, two, three classes. So no need to worry. so we have 2 minutes so we have got only two uh, three answers so because of the reason uh, like a few weeks back few people told that we don't have books sir so today i have posted cpt book in our groups so anyone interested you can download those books so we have one more minute we can start the discussion yeah great muttu kumar keep it up so now we can uh, first of all we need to find the keywords here So, 47 year old male sees his primary case physician complaining of fever with chills, cough, and congestion. So, these fever, chills, cough, and congestion are the uh, conditions which necessitated the X-ray for the patient. So, usually we'll, you will call it as medical necessity. So, what is the reason for X-ray? In coding, medical coding world, we will call it as medical necessity so whenever we code any procedure we need to check the medical necessity what is the reason for that medical necessity as we have lcds and cds while coding so lcd means like local coverage determinations ncd means national coverage determination so each and every diagnosis code we need to have lcd and ncd we need to check lcds and ncds yeah 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 great deva devendra so you are correct so we need to identify the lcds and ncds in order to code properly so we can't code for example patient has cyst we can't code like uh, tubectomy or hysterectomy patient has cyst in the chest but we can't code cpt code as hysterectomy so there is no medical necessity for hysterectomy here so we need to check medical necessity so the physician perform chest x ray taking lateral and ap views so lateral and ap views is one keyword so ap means antero posterior view anterior and posterior views and here two views lateral is one view ap view is two views like antero posterior one view lateral is second view so two views in his office the physician interprets the x ray views and the patient is diagnosed with walking pneumonia which cpt code is reported for the chest x ray performed in the office and interpreted by the physician so basically here in this question we need to talk about or speak about 26 modifier as well as the tc modifier 
so basically we will use 26 mod pair is for professional service and tc mod pair is for technical component so here physician has performed both technical component and uh, like uh, then professional component so these both will comes under global period like global code so because of that reason we need to code 71046 so if you see here physician has performed in his office so it will come under technical component and interpreted by physician this will come under professional component so physician has done two process in same visit so here we need to code 71046 anyway we will check in the cpt book 71046 so these are most common in cpc exam yeah exactly exactly supriya so if the physician does both uh, things we no need to code any modifier 710 So what is first one? 710, uh, sorry, 77065. Sorry, 71020. Yeah, here only we. I think that is correct, not correct. 71046, we need to check. See here, radial exam, examination, just single view, here two views. So for example, only lateral view, we can code this one, 71045. If patient has two views, we can code 71046. So here, based on our code description, patient has done both technical component and professional component and lateral and AP views. We need to select 71046 as the answer. So here it is the answer. We can mark it. So if anyone see in the future, you can understand easily. So I hope everyone got this answer. So we will go ahead with third question. Hi Gaurav. Today I am also late. You are also late. Yeah, thank you, Rohit. You can understand easily, Rohit. Already you are CPC certified and you are working in ambulatory surgery now. So no worries. Today I have problem with my software. So I have connected at 9.45. Tomorrow onwards I need to connect early bit. So anyway, I think Gaurav, I have sent CPD book on our fast coder groups. I think you might have downloaded it and using now so check our fast coder group uh, telegram and whatsapp groups you will get the cpt book so now we will go ahead with third question this gentleman has localized prostate cancer and has chosen to have complete transrectal ultrasonography performed for dosimetry purpose following calculation of the planned transrectal ultrasound guidance was provided for percutaneous placement of 1, 1, 2, 5 seats. Select the appropriate codes for this procedure. 55920, 55876, 55860, 55875. So now it is 1015. We will start discussing the answer at 1019. So Devendra, nothing uh, like uh, there is no secret for CPC coding. So if you want, you can watch one video which is published in Fastcoder 21, how to pass CPC exam. So in that video, I have mentioned all the trips and tricks in order to pass CPC exam. One second, I will try to post that video for you. So meanwhile, you can try for the answer.
ಹಾಯ್ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ so we guys can practice that and try to answer that so i am trying to find one video for our friend uh devendra this is the video i am speaking so you can watch that video you can get all the tips and tricks for cpc exam success so you can watch any video on fast code 21 there is no problem in that so if anyway you are going to write cpc exam means so watch this one so it is very useful for you most of the people this is one of the trending video in fast code 21 medical coding youtube channel how to pass cpc exam tips and tricks one of the trending video so in youtube language trending means most famous video so go ahead we will discuss our question now first we need to find the keywords we will try to find the keywords now so basically this is a direct question guys you don't need to do more research on this so just you need to check 55920 55876 55860 55875 so this gentleman first of all we need to find the medical necessity so patient has localized prostate cancer and has chosen to have completed complete transrectal ultrasonography so patient needs to have or undergoing transrectal ultrasonography dosimetry process so dosimetry is the process of radiation therapy where physician will insert uh, radiation capsules in the prostate so following calculation of the planned transrectal ultrasound guidance was provided for percutaneous placement of i i25 seeds usually physician will use palladium seeds here but in this question they did not mention so usually they will keep palladium seeds so select the appropriate codes for this procedure so we will check 55920 first 55920 so we see brachytherapy this is the therapy related to cancer so what is this placement of needles or catheter into the pelvic organs and or genitalia for subsequent interstitial radio element application so it is not for prostate it is pelvic organs and genitalia that is also subsequent so second time physician is uh, like inserting radio elements so because of this reason this answer is not correct so 55920 is wrong so we will check 55876 yeah 55876 here placement of interstitial device for radiation therapy guidance prostate via needle or any approach single or multiple so here physician is using pre- uh, fiducial markers 
and dosimeter. So this is also wrong. So here, whenever we code prostate seed application, we need to check the approach. Approach is very deep, uh, like uh, very important here. So we will check 55860. So how does the physician is inserting the radio elements? So exposure of prostate, any approach for insertion of radioactive substance. So this is also not uh, correct. Why means here there is no mention of transrectal ultrasound. So 55860 is also wrong. So remaining we have 55875. So here if you check 55875, in our question is also having local prostate cancer, complete transrectal ultra perform dosimetry process. Here, if you see percutaneous placement of 1 to 125 seeds, plant transrectal ultrasound. So if you check this one, transperineal placement of needles or catheter in prostate for interstitial radio element application with or without cystoscopy. So with or without means physician, if the physician uses cystoscopy only, we can code the same code. If physician does not use cystoscopy also, we can code only 55875. So if we check under this code, we will get one guidance related to ultrasound. So 55875 transperineal placement of needles or catheters into prostate for interstitial radio element application with or without cystoscopy. If you see here, for ultrasonic guidance for interstitial radio element application, we need to use 76965. So because of these two reasons, our answer is 55875 and 76965 26 modifier. So here physician is performing professional component, not technical component. So I hope everyone got this answer. If you have any doubt, so mention in the chat box. I will try to maintain, sorry, mention or clear one more time. So most of the people write to B, B is the wrong answer. So D is the correct answer. 55875. Five. So, okay guys, we will go ahead with next question. Question four, a 69 year old female had a ground level fall when she tripped over her dog earlier this evening in her apartment. The emergency department took x-rays of the left wrist in oblique and lateral views which revealed a displaced distal radius fracture type 1 open left wrist. What radiological service and ICD-10 CM codes are reported? So we have 73100, 73110, 73115, 73100. So Anyway, for this question, you need to check ICD-10 ICD uh, coding also. So I will give you five minutes for this one. So now it is 10.25. We will check the answer as 10.30. Just compare whenever you see four options, you need to check whether any of two are identical. Whether A, B identical, or whether B, C identical, either C, D identical, or either A, D identical. So using that identification, you can reduce your time while writing CPC exam. So that is one of the elimination tip of CPC exam. First of all, you need to identify the identical uh, answers.
so just compare our code description with question that's enough so you need to become forsnik scientist or forsnik coder in order to identify the correct answer in live also just you need to compare that's enough you don't need to do much hard work so if you are if you are having complexity with icd 10 cm try with cpt code if you are familiar with icd 10 cm you can try with icd 10 cm you have two options here in order to find the answer great great all are doing good job so i don't think i need to explain this yeah we can check gaurav so we have two more minutes left so after that we can check and meanwhile you guys click on like button so that everyone gets motivated to attend these sessions yeah basically it motivates me to create these sessions every week so if you see we are completing 70000 series now tomorrow we will complete 80000 series afterwards we will complete 90000 once again we will start from 10000 series so we will stop uh, we will not stop learning so every day we will we need to learn something in medical coding in order to get or become successful medical coder tomorrow we are posting very good video in order to become medical coding pressure to medical coding auditor you can watch that video and you can learn your weakness so try to achieve those weaknesses by learning those topics so now it is 10:30 time is over so basically here our keywords ground level fall means fall on the same level so one more keyword tripped tripped over her dog anyway these are not needed for code selection but we need to find the keywords yeah bargo we can discuss that after this so we will learn this evening in her apartment so apartment it is like it will come under private residence so the emergency department took x rays of the less tourist in oblique and lateral views so here two views which reveal displaced distal radius fracture type 1 open left wrist what radiological service and icd 10 cm codes are reported so basically when you write cpc exam you need to identify the identical uh, cpt codes here for example if you see a and d are having the identical cpt codes so directly you can see these two codes but first of all you need to concentrate on a and d why means these both are having same identical like uh, cpt code so here our 73100 73100 26 modifier we will check 73100 what is that 7300 so radiological exam wrist two views so our cpt code is correct for both a and d we will check 73110 110 and 115 so 110 complete minimum of three views so basically in order to make x ray as complete we need to have three views that's why they have mentioned here complete so we need to understand that complete view consists of minimum of three views so we can have more than three views it will come under 
complete only. So minimum we need to have three views. So 73110 is wrong as we are having only two views. So next one 73115. So radiological examination risk, orthography, radiological supervision and interpretation. So based on our QA, we don't have any orthography mentioned here. Orthography means recording of joints. Arthro means joint, graphy is recording. So recording of joint. So 73115 is also wrong. So we need to check 73110 A and D. So here CPT codes are same. So directly we need to check ICD-10 CM codes. So if you check this answer, yeah, Supriya, Adro means joint. So if we check this answer, we can check S52602B. S52602B. So you can use this ICD-10 data. Six zero two B. This is you can get ICD and PCS freely here, so everyone can use. So what is this fracture? Unspecified fracture of lower end of left ulna initial encounter per open fracture type one or two. So here. Based on our question, patient has distal radius fracture, displaced distal radius fracture. So here there is no word mentioning distal radius. So we have one more option here, S52502B. We need to check that code. So see here, unspared fracture of the lower end of left radius, initial encounter for open fracture 1 or 2. So lower, may, lower end means it obviously distal of the joint. So S52502 is the correct answer. So I hope everyone got this answer. Yeah, most of the people wrote correctly. No need to think more about this answer. So because of this reason, answer A is the correct answer. So number five, a CT density study is performed on a post-menopausal female to screen for osteoporosis. Today's visit, the bone density study will be performed on the spine. Which CPT code is reported? 77075, 77080, 77078, 707081. So now it is 1035. I will give you 3 minutes. So we can start discussion at 1039. So it is very easy only. So whenever we have question even in live surgery coding also, we need to identify the keywords first. So if you identify the keywords, you can write easily, whether it is CPC exam, whether it is live coding. Uh, keep it up, Gaurav. So most of the people are writing correct only.
so if anyone has the toughest topics at your end please send it to me to vincent medical coder at the rate of gmail.com so we can discuss those topics which are useful for each and every one so currently we are using the uh, material which is provided by shiva kumar so today is absent usually he will come every week so he is doing good job by providing all this latest mock papers so if anyone wants we can watch this video multiple times but we will not give this mock test pdfs to anyone as i told last week that people are if i send the these documents they are selling outside and they are earning money so that's why we are we don't have any app tab sending pdfs to anyone if you want you can see and we can watch these sessions so guys uh, we can check so most of the people wrote the answer c is the correct answer so i don't think we need to explain this one but we can check only 77078 Seven seven zero seven eight. So computed tomography, bone mineral density study, one or more sites, axial skeleton, hips, pelvis, spine. So basically, this is a direct Q and A. So anyone can write. So first, we need to understand what is the purpose of this study. so bone mineral density study means they will find softening of bone osteoporosis means the bones become porous so they will become fragile so most of the elder people will have this disease so after 65 or 50 years they need to have screening so it is good for everyone so we will go ahead with question number 6 The patient is 15 weeks pregnant with twins coming back to her obstetrician to have a trans abdominal ultrasound performed to reassess anatomic abnormalities of both fetuses that were previously demonstrated in the last ultrasound. What ultrasound count uh, sorry code is reported? 76815 76816 76801 76805 So now it is 1040 we can discuss answer at 1044 So first of all, try to understand the keywords here. You need to identify the keywords. That is the very important thing. After that, you can write the answer. Try to identify the keyword. in cpc exam as soon as you see the question you need to identify whether do we have any common uh, codes like in previous question we have a and d are common so you need to identify which are having the common cpt codes so that you can write easily basically it will save your time during the exam
so now we have two more minutes so guys anyone is confused about the answer so just we can mention in the chat box we can discuss one more time so my intention to help the coders yes yes supriya you are correct so we will start the answer so the patient is a 15 weeks pregnant with twins so so twins is the one keyword and coming back coming back means already she has visited the physician she is coming one more time so coming back to her obstetrician to have a trans abdominal ultrasound performed to reassess reassess so second time they are, they are performing the ultrasound anatomic abnormalities of both fetus so this is also one keyword that were previously demonstrated in the last ultrasound so demonstrated previously means this is also one keyword so we need to identify all these keywords so that we can write easily why means while writing the cpc exam these are most to uh, like confusing so if you identify proper keywords we can write it easily so basically most of the guys wrote correct answer here our answer is 76816 So ultrasound pregnant uterus real time with image documentation follow up as she is coming for the second second time like as here it is mentioned as subsequent where it is coming back so coming back means second time she is coming so this will come under this follow up resembles to that uh, coming back re-evaluation of fetal size by measuring standard growth parameters and amniotic fluid volume re-evaluation of organ system suspected or confirmed to be abnormal or previous scan trans abdominal approach for fetus so if it is if the physician is performing for only one fetus we can quote 76816 but here we are having the two fetus so here we need to identify or we need to check the code guidelines for example, if you see here, report 76816 with modifier 59 for each additional fetus examined in multiple pregnancy. So we need to write 76816 and 76816 into 59. So now I have one question. So how do you write four fetus? Now we are having only two fetus. For two fetus, our answer is 76816 and 76816 into 59 mod pair. So what if the patient has four fetus? Write your answer in the chat box. So if patient has four fetus and physician is doing ultrasound, how can you write? So write your answer in the chat box. After that, we can go ahead with another question. So basically, this question is for two fetus. Yeah, how do you write if the patient has four fetus? So 
Supriya, you need to go speed. Yeah, I think Supriya, I can't find your answers. Now also I can see follow up. So and Rohit message trans abdominal is also keyword that is I, that I can see. After I can see only Rohit answer only. I can't see your answer. I don't know what is going on. I will show the image. I will send the image to you. Check now Supriya your mobile. I can't see your answer. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we are doing good job, Supriya. Even Rohit also can't see your answer. So anyway, no worries, Supriya. If you write to, if you perform very good, it is good for you only. So anyway, you are going to write your answer. So what happened, Rohit? Basically, we can't see the Supriya answers. She is writing the answer, but we can't see. Even I can't see. So she is telling that I am writing the answer, but to, as I told her, we are we can't see your answers. I told you now there is a problem with YouTube also. YouTube and Gmail. So anyway, no worries, Supriya. Best of luck. You did the good job. So you are getting the concept that's very essential. So I mean, since CPC, you will not get same question and answers. So indirectly, for example, previously they have asked both features like two features. Now they will ask four features. So if you write correct answer, I means in CPC also you can write correct answer. No, no need to worry about that. You are doing good. I hope you will get success in this CPC exam. So we will go ahead with question number seven. A 32 year old pregnant female has gestational diabetes at 34 weeks gestation. Her doctor is concerned about decreased fetal movement. The patient is sent to the radiology department of the hospital for a biophysical profile. Usually we will call it as BPP, biophysical profile. So the radiologist performs and interprets four elements scored by the ultrasound and it was Reassuring 8 by 8. A non stress test will be performed by the obstetrician at the patient's next office visit, not the radiologist. What is the CPT, correct CPT code for the fetal profile performed by the radiologist? So, our answers 76818,
guys sometimes what's happening you no know, for the last two weeks as soon as we are finishing the session youtube is disconnecting so if you have any questions you can ask middle also so why means we are not i am unable to provide answers to all the guys question and questions yeah supriya now i can see your answer so you guys right just try to find the keyword first then you can write the answer easily so we can check now first our keywords a 32 year old female has gestational diabetes 34 weeks gestation yeah correct deepthi her doctor is concerned about decreased fetal movement so decreased fetal movement is the medical necessity the patient is sent to the radiology department of the hospital for biophysical profile so that is the keyword the radiologist performs and interprets four elements scored by the ultrasound and it was reassuring 8 or 8 so this is also one keyword so in this uh, question we need to write the current procedures not future procedures yeah here a non stress test will be performed by the obstetrician at the patient next office visit not the radiologist so what is the correct cpt code for fetal profile performed by the radiologist so here we will not consider non stress test as this test is going to perform in the next visit not in this visit currently we need to write only for biophysical profile so we will check 76818 all are side by side only so what is this fetal biophysical profile with non stress testing so here there is no mention of stress testing in the current visit you no need to think about like future events you need to think about current so 
here there is no mention of stress testing so 768 is wrong we will check 15 ultrasound pregnant uterus real time with image documentation limited one or more fetus so here there is no mentioning of limited here so here physician interpret uh, sorry interprets all four elements so 76815 is also wrong we will check 76820 Doppler velocimetry fetal umbilical artery. This 76820 is completely different. So D is also wrong. We are left with only 76819. So you, we need to understand indenting here. First one is 76818 is for fetal biophysical profile with non stress testing. As I mentioned previously, we don't have or uh, we no need to consider, consider anything about stress test here. So in this visit, physician did not do any stress test. So this stress test is in the future hospital, like uh, hospital visit, not in this hospital visit. So we need to consider this as a without stress test. So if you check 76819, fetal biophysical profile without non-stress testing. So because of this keywords and uh, things, our correct answer is 76819. So here you need to understand the indentation, indentation properly. So if you know correct indentation, you can write easily. I hope everyone got the answer. So if you have any doubt, just to mention in the comment box. Yeah, correct. Non-stress test is in the upcoming visit, not in this visit. So, Supriya, it is 76819. So, 180 is for with non stress testing, which is not mentioned by the physician. So, you need to consider 76819 without non stress testing. Yeah, no very important in this. So, by writing the exam. So, you need to identify the indentation properly. So, if you find indentation correctly, you can write the answer easily. So, we will check one more question. Question 8. The physician performs a selective catheterization of the right renal artery and renal angiography. The puncture site was the right femoral artery, which CPT code is reported. 36251, 36245, 36215-36251. So, as previously I have mentioned few tricks, you need to remember those tricks and write this answer. So now it is 11.01. We can start discussing answer at 11.05. 11.05. Sorry guys, today little bit late. So I have started little bit late. Tomorrow onwards I will start at 8.30 only. So that you guys will not get this disturbance. So there is a problem with YouTube itself. Even practically we have seen now. With Supriya's message.
so I need to get answers from all are there here you can the ready surprise uh, right doing good so it is also here Trakshayani Snigdha and Bargo Kiran Mai next we need to have answers from Rajesh and Adira already told she has problem Muthukumari is doing good so Deepthi is also doing good Deepthi are you writing CPC exam so Devendra needs to write answers Yeah, no worries, Deepthi. I will clear your doubts. Oh, April end. Yeah, you can conclude CPC exam, Deepthi. Best of luck. So, previously we have few videos from 10,000 series. You can watch those sessions. So, meanwhile, while running the session, I am providing few tips also. So those tips will be useful by writing your exam. So we have one more minute. So we will uh, discuss this answer so basically here our keyword is selective catheterization so selective means what happens whenever physician inserts the catheter he will go after aorta so he will cross the aorta and he will go another artery so which usually we will call it as selective catheterization so we have two catheterization, selective catheterization, non-selective catheterization. Selective means physician will select which artery I need to go and I need to diagnosis. And the second one is non-selective. So here physician will not cross aorta. So he will stay in the aorta only, which we usually will call it as non-selective catheterization. So but in our question, physician has performed selective catheterization. So he already crossed the aorta and he went into renal artery and performed renal angiography so angiography means so recording of blood vessels renal means related to kidney so he has recorded renal arteries so the puncture site was the right femoral artery so right femoral artery is the access site so he will start at the right femoral artery and he will go to the renal artery and he will perform renal angiography so this is the selective catheterization we will check here 